Abigail. Pass. Dad, Dad, what's wrong? Abigail, listen to me. Get to the cabin. What's going on? You'll be okay if you just stay inside the cabin. I got first dibs. What? Sorry, you know the rules. I got here first and everything, so it's only fair. This is my cabin. Oh shit, this is your cabin. <sighs> Can you blame me? Once you've seen one bad cabin, you've seen a whole. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna grab these and head out. See ya. I'm saying I could have left to that for long instead, so I'll know for next time. I'm so sorry I have to go. I have a dinner party to get to. You know how it is. You can't just steal from me. Can't show up to a dinner party empty-handed. Oh, okay. Should have just said. Take whatever you need. Really? No! Just give me back my stuff and leave me alone. Come we still here? Well, <laughs> would you believe? My dinner party got cancelled. So I guess I don't really know where else to go. How long have you been by yourself? A while, I guess. It's not much, but it's something. Here. I'm Abigail. Bailey. Thank you. How'd you end up out here? Oh, you know, seeing the countryside, surviving the apocalypse. Just a typical Tuesday, really. Is that really your cabin? Yeah. I mean, my dad built it. Do you never know? Why? You're trying to sell my cabin as well as my food? <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> Not to be ungrateful or anything, but I don't really think you thought this can thing through. Oh, well, I, I couldn't let it be too easy for you. <laughs> no, seriously, was I supposed to fashion a rock into a can opener or just kind of... Okay, maybe I didn't think it all the way through, but I could always take it back if you want. Oh no, it's okay. There. Yeah. What's this? Hot chocolate. Where'd you get hot chocolate from? Oh, please, I'm not a savage. <laughs> this is my emergency supply. <laughs> How's the food coming along? Well, I can't smell any burning yet, so I think it's doing okay. What do you mean you think? I usually do them on stove. Why are we doing it out here? I thought it'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> if this was a first date, I don't know if I'd want a second. Okay, I'll try and bring flowers next time. Oh, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> How come you got all this food anyway? My dad was a survivalist, so 
the cabin was basically fully stocked when I got here. I am running out now, though. Have you tried going out scavenging? What, like, out there? <laughs> Where else? I've explored the forest, but I'm not sure it's a good idea to go anywhere else. Why not? My dad knew it wasn't safe out there. That's why he told me to stay here. It's why he built the cabin in the first place. Oh my god, your dad couldn't have known it was I don't happened. want to talk about this anymore, okay? <laughs> Tomorrow I'll show you that I've got everything I need here. There's nothing here, Abigo. No, but I can be right. There has to be something. Well, you're running out of food. We could try and do something else. Or go somewhere else. No, I can't leave the cabin. But there's nothing left in the cabin. There must be something somewhere. You've exhausted the area. We should branch out. My dad would not want me leaving. He's not here. We are. There's no we! Bailey, it's just me. It's always just been me. I don't want you here. I never want you here. Just, just leave me the fuck alone. Abigail? Abigail, darling, breakfast is almost ready. Dad? Look who finally woke up. I hope you're hungry. This isn't real. Uh, Abigail, get to the cabin. How could you even think of leaving me, Abigail? I'm not that I, I wouldn't. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Look at me. Okay. You're almost there, just keep breathing for me, okay? It's okay. I am leaving, I just heard a sound and wanted to make sure you were okay. Is this you? We gave it away. I'd know that frown anywhere. The last thing my dad said to me was, don't leave the cabin. He always took care of me. Took me in when my mum died. He'd always take me camping when I was younger. He'd teach me how to start a fire, how to survive. I hated it. I hated putting up the tent in the rain and having cold feet all the time. Sometimes I, I feel so angry that I didn't laugh enough at his dumb jokes. I feel so angry that I took those moments for granted. I miss runny noses and having cold feet all the time. Him trying to make me laugh when I was upset about my damn socks. More than anything, I just want him to tell me that everything will be okay. But he sounds like a great dad. I... 
I shouldn't have pushed you away. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I should have been more sensitive. Truce. Truce. Right. I know what we should do today. I still don't know where we're going. We, my friend, are going on an outing. <laughs> an outing. An outing! <laughs> You realise it doesn't help, right? Mm -hmm. This place is really beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've actually really enjoyed today. Yeah? Yeah. You know, it was nice being reckless for once. Are you calling me reckless? No, no, I, I, what I meant was it's, it's nice not thinking. Oh, so I'm thoughtless. You know, you make it really <laughs> hard to be nice to you sometimes. It's a gift. <laughs> I, I had a really nice time today too. I bet you take all the girls here. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so many women. <laughs> You're probably my favourite though. Probably. It's my incredible cooking skills, isn't it? That might have something to do with it. Is this okay? What's got you thinking so hard? Who makes you say that? What if it's a mistake? What if we can't survive out there? I did. No one like her with me is hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look after you. You look after me? Yeah. I'm mega butch. Oh, <gasps> really? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we go from here? Wherever we want, I guess. 